Today is the 30th of December 2021 and it's just 10.10 p.m. I'm honestly, I honestly actually don't feel like recording this um, and instead wanted to write it but I don't think I have the appropriate paper for that and I do not want to write it in here. support gratitude I actually don't even realize when I think I somehow know when it happened but to the extent to actually see how how this really happens and what are the impacts are actually pretty pretty big I would say um, this is about gratitude for for my whole life I've been taught to always say a prayer before meal and my, my, my father taught me to always thank for the food that has been brought to the table and thank who has been preparing it and in hope that from throughout this meal we will be following and doing things accordingly to the God that was what I was taught and I think it's some way somehow started after I came forward to my sister and family that Jesus is not what I'm aligned to so at first I stopped doing cross sign when I'm praying before my meal and but I actually still resume and continue with a symbol of this prayer for my man. It was just very quick. And I think I got carried away as well after I've been starting to eat in my room the whole time. And I think after I dropped it, very simple way of gratitude I've been really really carried away and recently it's not recently um, for the past many months for the past few months my appetite has been really really haywire if I don't feel like eating it's I hardly can eat and I know it is not healthy for my body and I was actually wondering as well since when it's gotten very very bad since when it's gotten to, to a point that actually I'm being very very picky to a point in which actually I'm being very particular and very driven by my mood if I wanted to eat something and if I can eat it I'd be very and extremely happy but if I don't feel like eating if I'm not in the mood of eating I can go without food and if I fo but the body will trigger that it is deeply in hunger and but when I'm eating it will just really blend and it's just like putting some rocks inside your mouth without the joy of actually eating it these are the changes that I have experienced for the past few months maybe it has it was there previously but it has gotten worse for the past few months and about gratitude there are a few times that I came across meditation for gratitude and I always felt somehow like I'm always gratitude I'm always grateful so I reluctant I neglected and I actually turn away from this 
gratitude meditation i don't really focus on it because i thought i was grateful i thought i was being grateful and today i noticed that i was actually not what well, we said actually really brought me back and um because i i was complaining actually i was complaining I was actually wondering after I complained that am I really bad? What am I? What is happening to me? And after my shower I found out that I have been so ungrateful for so many things. I don't even know when it started, when I got carried away and this just like a point I got when I actually kind of reflecting to it. I kind of felt like I've been disconnected to my surf throughout that period. There's just a sense of me, a part of me that actually totally block off and forgotten about about being grateful, about having gratitude. There's a part of me. I think there are a lot of other stuff that also contributed to this part. The part of me that like kind of erase being gratitude, being grateful, to have gratitude. That's just part of me that erase that. Erase the need of gratefulness in our daily life. Maybe I think it's not really necessary anymore to dig to the past for, for this year actually. For the past, what has happened on my Sutra. Most importantly, now I actually, I am actually seeing the importance of being grateful. I'm seeing it all now. Just before I wrote the entry for this gratitude, I I was actually writing about falling in love with life I have this book about it especially particularly for falling in love with living and before I took my shower I noticed that am I even in love with myself in which part I merely don't feel anything I was even questioning myself do you love us? I always thought the answer is yes but if it was yes how did you actually love us? it is not only physically but also mentally, emotionally I can't or we can't feel the love you have for us I think to begin with, when we forget about being grateful, that's the point where we actually lose the connection to our dear self. Because you were, I, I, I just noticed this now that I don't think I'm grateful for who I am, from where I am right now. And because of that, I couldn't love myself. Because even if I say I love myself, I can't even feel it. I don't have that gratefulness of being me, of having me. That means I actually don't even love myself. Because I do not know, honestly, I don't know how to appreciate myself. And what else? How even... There are more about others as well and it even goes up to so many people people around me things around me just simple as food 
So I wrote this entry about gratitude again. Finding love for ourselves starts with gratitude. Gratitude for being us, for having us, and also it goes to the whole around us. The whole thing around us, be it big or small, gratitude, 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 gratitude from deep below our heart. Thank you, ye, for being us with us this whole while. Thank you for not giving up throughout our journey. We have chosen a hard career, but it was to follow our heart. And thank you for bringing us this while. Thank you for your determination and persistency. Thank you, Yi. Thank you to my family members who are always expressing their love and acceptance of me. No matter how selfish and nasty I have been. Thank you, family, for enduring me. Thank you for giving me love in your own respective ways. Thank you. Thank you, my dear friends, for the time we spend, the love we share, the thoughts we talk about, and the moments spent together. Thank you. Thank you to my current project, to my colleague. Thank you for the extreme experience and lessons I am having from here. Thank you, GM, for allowing me to feel so much appreciated, life and all I could never have expected. Thank you for the growth that I have become in here alone. Thank you to all that have flourished my journey. Thank you. Thank you to the strangers that gave me smiles for the warmness that slowly seeping through my heart. Thank you for coloring some part of my life. Thank you. And thank you to Wisco for you managed to bring me back, gave me the awareness of what I have been neglecting. Gratitude. Thank you for pulling me back to shine. To, to show thank you with and thank you to the universe for all that I am thank you from far near big and small blessings all came from thee thank you thank you for the foods that I have received I should stop seeing them as their value but rather as a gift from thee a blessing and nutrition to this physical body a need Thank you, thank you for allowing me to come back. Thank you, thank you, universe, for your endless blessings to me. Thank you. Gratitude is the key to love. When we are losing all our senses, come back to gratitude and gratefulness. Gratitude is the answer. When we are losing our senses and all of it, come back to be grateful. When we say we are grateful, when we want to express our gratitude, we want to manage it from deep our heart. We want to manage it from our mind and our actions. We want to express our gratitude. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you universe, thank you to the power, thank you to our subconsciousness, thank you to our highest consciousness. Then I came back being grim to this point again, thank you. I'm grateful that before 2021 ends, I learned gratitude I learned this big lesson I learned this value before 2021 ends maybe it's not something special but I think the more I'm spending time with without feeling gratitude and grateful I'm wasting more of my time because I think the major reason of this emptiness came from not feeling grateful to the things that has been all in front of me and without a feeling of gratefulness as much as we wanted to be present the mind will always sit through and because I think gratefulness it anchors you to the crown to the reality to your blessings it anchors you to all of it and it is something that is very very crucial 
gratitude and gratefulness is connecting you to everything. I so feel blessed that at least I came to the, this realization now and I think even though there are a lot of values in our life that we have learned throughout our life there are many that are being taught by our parents by, by our elders by people around us I think it is easy to actually not practicing all any of the values because it does not come from your really deep self-awareness but rather being taught to you so it will not stick and very high possibility that it might seep through seep away from your life so this kind of self-awareness self-realization that comes through deep from our heart actually i have to be honest that at this time being i still have a bit of like a bit of like um uncertainties but I know it's because I've been I've been neglecting gratefulness and gratitude for such a very very long time I mean I think it started this year but it has been many long months and it's just like feeling back to the gratefulness to the gratitude I'm, I'm trying to put myself into that and today I really know the importance of gratitude and it come just like can deep from within me and this is from my own self-consciousness and self-awareness.